Hello everyone, this is The Pretend Critic and thank you uh, for watching my channel. So, um, I haven't done a lot of movie reviews lately because there hasn't been kind of a movie that I really like. So I wanted to add this video or series that I'm going to start doing. It's going to be about how um, something changed in my life that uh, started this and why I want to go ahead and add this to a movie series that I have or a video series that I want to do. Uh, it's kind of like the accountability of what I'm trying to do and change my life. As you can see in the title, something happened to my car and it changed my life. Before I go ahead and tell you what changed about my life or what event happen please go ahead and subscribe uh, to my channel uh, if you want movie reviews i'll continue doing that uh, i will review uh, two movies this coming next week two movies uh, lego and alita battle angel and then probably how to train a dragon those are the three uh, movie reviews that i'm going to go ahead and review for you guys uh, if you also want to go ahead and subscribe you're going to go in my journey of how totaling my BMW X1 changed my is changing my prospect or changing what I think my life should be. Yes, I used to have this kind of car. Nice, trying to clean it, but it became this one. And for some reason, uh, State Farm, which is my insurance, said that it was to a total loss. So when I looked at it, I should have like a cash flow, right? But no. It looked like I was still, now I have a cash flow, but before I did not. Um, <clears throat> I saved up for this car. It's a 2016 uh, BMW X1. January 18 of this year, it got totaled because some guy ran a red light. So this month, February, I looked at my finance and looked at it again. And I was thinking I have extra money of 700 that's uh, car payments and insurance. But no, I was actually paying, living a little bit beyond my means. Not a lot, but this has covered and has opened my eyes per se. So my BMW X1 is no longer there and I have 740 uh, per se to go ahead and play. And what I wanna do is go ahead and do two things. Save money and pay off the debts credit card debts that I have. So save money. Why save money? Uh, because I'm going to go ahead and move to Seattle and I need money for that and also money to the, for emergency fund. And the other thing that's a big, big, big thing that's happening in my life is my brother's getting married and he's getting married in the Philippines, which costs. So I'm going to save money for that. So two things to save money, three things to save money for, emergency fund, just in case the things happen again. Um, save money for my move for Seattle so I don't use the credit card. And then save money for my brother's marriage, not my marriage, <laughs> uh, in the Philippines. So again, when I looked at that, I thought I, that was a cash flow of every month. Uh, that I didn't have to pay. But I looked at it again. I had $35,000 of credit card debt. Uh, three of those credit cards are around probably 5,000 of that is actually from my work and it's get, getting reimbursed. So basically I have $30,000 worth of debt that accumulated, that I accumulated into seven credit cards and because I thought you know you would want to have that kind of lifestyle so what I want to do with these videos is I'm going to tell you what type of methods uh, I'm doing to go ahead and pay off the debt other than saving I want to pay off my debt and I want to do it with the credit cards because some of the debts like my medical bills does not earn interest they're just uh, payment plans right there so um, credit card uh, medical bills I mean is about 3,500 no interest uh, 75 on one and then $41 on the other uh, both of them were emergency um, or ER visits 
that my insurance for some reason did not cover. So I want to concentrate on the $30,000 worth of debt of credit cards. Also, I have a personal fund, which is about a personal loan, I mean, of about 10800 I will tackle that probably because that's the lowest interest that I have with other debts. Again, it's beyond living beyond my means. So you'll see a number of 950 right there. That is my one, one of my credit cards that I want to pay down for. So it's going to go down hopefully in every video that I do. It's going to be bi-weekly. Right now, it's just an introduction of what I want to do. And that is save, pay off those credit card debts, and then hopefully pay off the other debts. And then what other reasons or what other methods that I do to save. So if you want to join me in my journey of my new life of not having a car, uh, go ahead and subscribe. And I will do bi -week, try to do bi-weekly videos. That's basically every time that I get paid of what is happening. Uh, this is going to be less editing, less anything like that. It's just basically what I want to do is kind of my accountability of posting. Hey, last month you had 950. Uh, this video you had, you owed 850 on this card. Are you doing well or not? And it's basically something to just uh, probably therapeutic. Um, again, I, I'm doing a debt slash savings plan for my budget especially after totaling my car um, this is the pretend critic so i do need to be critical of something state farm <laughs> it wasn't my fault they've already uh, deemed that it wasn't my fault because it was a total loss they paid uh, my car uh, my car note or my car loan um, which is about and then gave me a little bit which i in turn did a savings and paid the, paid some of the credit card the nine the one of my credit card it had a balance of 1575 and now it's 950 so that is what second thing that i did with that one is pay off some of the cards and i'm also saving and uh, have like a cushion of because i do physical therapy my insurance doesn't cover it so i have to pay off of pocket uh, 85 for physical therapy because of my back and that's why I went to the emergency room. Um, <clears throat> I have uh, this slip disc or bulging disc that's pinching my nerve. Um, my S, I forgot, uh, but my L2, uh, L4 and L5 is slip but has not pinched the nerve. But my S um, something, I forgot what it was, is the one that slipped and uh, pinching my nerve. So I'm doing physical therapy for that. And that's $85 per session. Uh, it used to be twice a week and I'm doing it once a week and I'm doing more exercise at home and hopefully I'll take care of that. That was the emergency room uh, that I had uh, the bill. With. I know I'm rambling, but basically these videos are going to be therapeutic for me and hopefully you learn from my lessons and again, I'm still going to do movie reviews. Uh, I am the pretend critic. That is one of the things that I'm not going to change. But I'm going to lower. Uh, instead of watching two, a uh, three, three a week, which I did before, I'm going to do probably one or two. But basically probably one. I'm going to try to save up for that. And if I don't have that cash, I can't go anywhere. Or I still have AMC, so I might just go there and that's it. Because... I don't have a car. Uh, my other plan is not to have that car, uh, not to have a car for now until I move to Seattle and then figure that figure that uh, transportation thing out. Uh, my lucky thing is I'm very lucky that my current job allows me, sorry, allows me to travel a lot, uh, three weeks in a month. So everything is paid. Uh, Uber, everything like that, Uber to the airport and then fly. Right now, it's more of a rental car uh, over the weekend because I'm driving uh, around the state. I am uh, around my state where I'm at, which is Texas. Um, this was life changing. Again, it just opened my eyes and I thought I was okay because I was able to pay 
my car, I was able to pay my credit cards, but when I looked at it again, I knew I had a lot of credit card debts, but I thought, you know, I was a, I was not managing it that well, but the problem is I was managing it, not solving it, not paying it down. Uh, so I'm not doing the popular, uh, I am doing a modified debt snowball again, just to reiterate, just to conclude, I am trying to save money. I already have the emergency fund of $1,000, the, the way Dave Ramsey wants, but I will continue saving um, because I need to save for the moving to Seattle and I need to go ahead and save some money to go to the Philippines in this December. So those are the three goals that I have for saving. Continue doing um, for emergency fund little by little, but basically it's kind of like the sinking fund that I, I need for vacation and moving expenses. And then um, the next thing that I changed after that is to go ahead and pay credit card one by one. So I guess I have the debt snowball for that one but I'll still continue saving because I, I want to get the debt down, but my savings up. So basically, uh, I am not in a hurry to pay it all off, but I am, hopefully with this plan, will have it paid off. I did look at my finance. I do have uh, some, some wiggle room. Probably once, once I'm able to move and then vacation, I might cut back on those savings and then go ahead and put it to my uh, debt plan to pay off the credit cards. So my overview would be just to go ahead and do that and hopefully with this video it helps motivate me uh, because I have to put <laughs> put it uh, probably shame myself uh, put how much I still owe. So hopefully it will be enough and Again, I'll, I'll, please, if you want uh, to follow with me my journey um, with this, I'll do a, try to do it bi-weekly or at least once a month with m updates. And then I'll also probably do traveling because I do travel a lot for my work. I might be able to do some videos. Uh, I'm just doing it with my cameras. I'm trying to save up more and more and hopefully... Uh, if you want, again, go ahead and join me with that. I am still going to do movie reviews and uh, comment about uh, entertainment. I do have one that's coming up I'm going to be working on. And hopefully, again, I have the three movies, Lego 2, How to Train a Dragon, and then uh, Alita Battle Angel. And hopefully, because it's summertime, I'll have more uh, videos about movies i'm more of a comic book movies more big blockbuster but I'll, I'll do some smaller movies and see probably more netflix because i'm going to be more home because i don't have a car but again if you like that please go ahead and subscribe to get movie reviews and my financial uh, journey and you might get some travel travel tips or travel uh, blogs by me so this is the pretend critic and thank you again for watching my channel and my video. That's a wrap.